is cold. Cover it here in photo. I hope in a half inch is next to his rich. And this one you want to give it about three quarters of an inch. It takes a little more throttle to get started. Okay. And we want to clear the prop. That's just switch on. And pull this in. And then here we go. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay. Wonder, let's take off and go to the east. We'll go out over Ball Head and do a little bit of maneuvering. Okay. Then we'll come back in and do a few takeoffs and landings. All right, sure thing. Hey, Cape Fear Traffic, System 48842, departing runway 23, uh, departing pattern to the east, Cape Fear. And here we go. Wow. 842, this is 30 Echo. We are over the Intracoastal inbound for a left downwind to 23. Take care. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for you. We'll be headed out. Uh, are you staying at 1500? I know, we're descending down to 1000. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll pass over you. And here we go, full power. 
down out of gauges, feet off the brakes, all pressure green, green, good, air speed's coming aloft, air's 45, air's 50, rotate, and we want to climb out at about 70. So we'll roll it in here at 45. Add a little bit of power. We'll 
pull back some jeeps.
Virginia, Cape Fear Traffic, Cessna 842, uh, final, runway 23, Cape Fear. Let's make this a touch and go, we'll do a couple of touch and goes. Cape Fear traffic, Cessna 842, short final runway 23, touch and go, Cape Fear. Skydiving in progress at Cape Fear, two parachutes over the waterway on the west side of the airport. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open for them. Okay. Alright, don't get too slow, but yeah. I uh, keep that airspeed until you get down to about, that's what you know. Right about there, hold it right about there, now oh. then start your flare. There we go. Don't want to flare too high. Yeah. Come, on, come on down, come on down. Now they ease off to the power. Hold her off. Power off. You should touch down with no power on. Flaps. Carve heat. Power. Fifty, fifty-five. Up we go. Seven knots. I see two parachutes. Yeah, I see a parachute. Yeah, no, he's not on the ground yet. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I got to pull him down. down. And Cape Fear traffic, Cessna 842, turning final, runway 23, Cape Fear. 842 will be touch and go, Cape Fear. No way Chuck will know that we're going to get out of his way. Parachutes are on the ground. And the jump plane's probably dive bombing us right now. <laughs> All right, getting a little slow. Best thing to do is lower that note. Good glide path, just a little bit high. All right, power back off, all the way off now. When you got the runway made, power all the way to idle. Hold her steady at 60 until you get up to flare height. All right, your power still got a little power in. There you go. Now hold her off. Beautiful, baby. Turn heat off, flaps up. And Cape Fear top of traffic, that's now 48842 on the move, runway 23, Cape Fear. Section 145 is turning final for T C. Cape Fear traffic, Cessna 842, left downwind, runway 23, uh, full stop, Cape Fear. West, currently sitting at a 3,500. You think you could make it to the touchdown point if you lost your power now? If I lost my power now? Probably not. There you can. Go ahead and pull it out. Pull it out? Yep, I'll just help you out here. Alright, go to your best glide speed. 70 knots. Turn towards the uh, approach end of the runway. Be a really smart approach. Well, it, it, when you, if you lose your engine, that's the first thing you do, is you yep. go to your best glide speed and point towards your uh, intended point of landing. You actually, uh, you're, you're speeding up, so you've got plenty yep. of time. You can, you can even have time to, to maneuver outside and make a big, big wide turn if you needed to. And two two Charlie Kilo's, uh, two mile final of Georgetown, runway, uh, When you got the runway made, go ahead and throw in your flaps, whatever you need. And I think you're gonna, you got, got plenty yeah, of better right. suited. Uh, 48842 making a simulated engine out of emergency landing cape here. Matter of fact, you got a lot of excess. 
altitude now, so maybe you want to do some S-turns. Or a forward slip even. Yeah, I was thinking about a forward slip. I don't think we're going to make it. I think we're too high. You still got 500 feet and you're halfway down the runway. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so you better go around. Going around? Yep. There's too much, not enough runway left. Hey, keep here, Tante, this is a 4842, uh, going around, runway 23, keep here. It takes a little bit of judgment to figure out yep. when to start making that turn. But the rule is, given any, all things being equal, turn towards the approach into your runway immediately. You can tell pretty quick if you're going to be too high, too low, just right. Yep. If you're just a little bit too high, you can always use flaps and a forward slip to lose that altitude. If you're too low, you're hosed. Hey, keep your traffic. Cessna E42, left down wind, runway 23, full stop. Uh, for a bit? Uh, probably not. I'll just okay. take it in. And you know what? I'm just going to do this right here. I'm doing that with simulated engine out. 20 knots. And keep your traffic system 842. Simulated emergency. Uh, runway 23. Keep here. Seventy-two is around seventy. Oh, really? Yeah, a little bit. Actually, a little bit slower than that. But. And we got the runway made. You can use flaps if you want to. Yeah. Oh, we're good right now. Flare too high. Don't flare too high. There you go. Good. Not bad. Not bad. Left up the car beat off. Now slow the plane down. Slow it down. Slow it down. There we go. Any one of these parking spots that has a uh, rope is fine. Yeah. Hey, keep your traffic. Cessna 842, clear the active. Keep here.